Hi there and welcome to Planet Zoo. Today I'm going to show you around the indoor rainforest exhibit that I've built. I built this as an entry for the Current Frontiers Builders Competition. Uh, that was to design an exhibit that captures the essence of the animal that's going to be exhibited. So I've gone with a rainforest theme and my exhibit's got five small animal exhibits showcasing animals that are found from the Amazon rainforest. I really wanted to capture the essence of the rainforest, so everything is focused around what I think the rainforest is like. I've never visited the Amazon rainforest, but I have been to places that are a little bit like it. So think like hot, wet, high humidity, also lots of vegetation and bugs freaking everywhere. So I've gone a little unconventional with the structure of the building. This is all very natural, full to the brim with trees and plants. The entrance is built into the rock, basically, with these little archways above. Here I've got some water features and some ornamental stuff. I wanted to put in some animal statues here, but there isn't anything in the game currently that is appropriate for this. All the animal statues and centerpieces relate to the African, Indian or the classic theme, so I had to get creative with what went in here. I do love these little clumps of moss. They're not strictly plants that should be in this biome, but I think they fit in really well here anyway. Around here, I've also used some of the creeping ivy as well. Again, that's not from this biome, but it's the only climbing plant that gives the right look that I was going for here. Now, this snake statue. This guy belongs in the Indian theme, so again, not exactly what you want for a South American themed exhibit, but there wasn't anything else really appropriate. So this guy's in here as a placeholder for whenever or if ever there's something more appropriate that's released. Anyway, let's take a look inside. There's an entrance and an exit tunnel, and when you go in, the path will take you all the way around to the exit. This section's kind of like a vestibule. Now, I've seen this in real life, particularly exhibits that have animals wandering about. There's always a holding area, and I think that's so you don't get a big queue of people blocking the entrance of the exhibit. This gives people a place where they can like get their bearings, possibly get acclimatized to a difference in temperature. I mean, somewhere like this is going to be pretty hot and humid. Also, if there's things like birds or small animals on the loose, this will help stop them escape. A lot of places like this in real life, they have like those thick vinyl curtains that you have to walk through um, in the second entrance that are always pretty gross and wet, but they're there for a reason to stop the animals escaping. So anyway, in this area, I've made like this living lattice roof, which I really do love. It's much area and takes away the sort of claustrophobicness of having a solid roof here. In this section, I've also added this education zone with this little structure and some little log ceasing here. I think this is where the zookeepers will give like little talks and demonstrations about the animals in the exhibit. I've got these boxes and baskets and crates down here that would be maybe used for a sort of show and tell. So have little items from the rainforest that would be passed around the audience during the show and tell. Okay, so let's take a look at the main exhibit. So basically I have this winding path that follows around the exhibit with a lot of vegetations and a hell of a lot of trees. I think I've done a good job in portraying what a rainforest would actually look like. And I think you get a good sense of how hot, wet and musty it must be in here. How I've made this inside bit is basically terraforming the land. So you get these weird and wonderful shapes forming the roof. Into this, I've strategically placed these sections of window and they let in the light quite beautifully. These are pretty random and there's no uniform order to this building at all. I wanted it to look like that though, mimicking what nature is like rather than there being uniformity and order to the building. The lower windows have also made these lovely little ledges where I could add more vegetation and I think that looks really pretty. So this central bit of the exhibit, I started with a couple of massive trees and terraformed the land around them. The big feature of this section is the pond and this has a bridge forming over the path and the waterfall on the other side. I am never happy with my waterfalls in the game. I still haven't quite figured out how to get them looking really good, but I do really like the pond area particularly this bit with the tree branches dipping into the water. I mean, the aesthetics of this place, I'm so pleased with how it turned out. It's all just so earthy and exactly what I was going for. Anyway, we'll carry on with the tour. As the path goes round, I love how the walls get a lot higher here and I was able to string some vines in between the two exhibits here. This bit, I've really terraformed the land here and added a load of rocks. So you really get this sense of height and space. 
talking of rocks, I probably should talk about the animal exhibits here as well. Each of the animals are creepy crawlies from South America. I made the exhibits fit in with the landscape by covering them in a lot of stone. Not really much to say about them, to be honest, other than I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. I did worry that I might struggle with this one in the middle, but I think it turns out okay and kind of breaks up the middle section quite nicely. I think if I ever place this build in a park, I'd like to make a null barrier around this middle bit and place a small animal in here, kind of do something with the, this as a feature rather than it just being decoration. I'll be honest, I've not looked into what small animals that are in the game live in South America, but something like the tortoise would probably do quite well in this space. I'd have to flatten down some of the land now so they could get around, and I'd have to figure out some way to get the habitat barrier entrance in without it looking terrible. Anyway, that's pretty much it for what I've got in this build here. Um, it took about 10 hours to make it all, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Let me know in the comments what you think. The whole build is available on the Steam Workshop, there's a link to that in the description below. But until next time, thanks for watching, bye for now.